Praise God, Chapel Kigali. Um, allow me to just today uh, come out uh, with a word of encouragement to each of us, um, especially in this season. Um, a lot of rumors, a lot of um, uncertainties, a lot of confusion, a lot going on because of what befells our world today. The news um, is heartening. Uh, the situation around us, some of, some of us feel like we are um, a bit disabled in a way because uh, we are limited in movement um, and uh, we are losing in many fronts. Uh, some are struggling to keep their jobs. It's not your fault. Um, and so the world has its own order and, and it runs in a certain way. Uh, but just today, I wanted to encourage us uh, uh, from the word of God. And I take it from the book of 2 Corinthians, uh, chapter 4. I uh, just want to begin by saying uh, that um, this world is not our home. <laughs> this world has its owner. And, um, and, 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 and we see that uh, from creation. Uh, we see that um, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, where uh, we learn about the, devil, the devil's fate uh, uh, being thrown out from heaven and cast into the earth. And the earth will then be the place that God wants us to live and inhabit and show and proclaim his power in this life. So we are able to proclaim um, his dominion, his power, his strength in this world and to show that the devil has no uh, hold on us. But he runs this world anyway. And so I just want to throw in some few nuggets uh, for us. Uh, from that book of 2 Corinthians, um, verse 4, or maybe let me just start by verse 3 and says, And if the gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. Uh, and so God in revealing Christ and, 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 and salvation is that he wanted us not to be um, the gospel not to be veiled. He wanted us to see the gospel as it is. He wanted us to be part of his original plan for us. And, and so he invites us through Christ uh, in salvation. And this salvation becomes the power that delivers us from um, the powers and principalities that run this earth. Um, and they are governed. They have a way they run. They learn in structures. And, and, and sometimes we find ourselves in in that whole mingling uh, with the world. But verse 4 says this, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Now, it is clear in this portion of scripture <laughs> that this world has its own God. <laughs> And there's an order in which this world runs. But through Christ, this gospel that we receive is one that should open our eyes to see into the glory of Christ. It illuminates into our hearts and should be that which then guides us to live lives that are victorious. When I say victorious, I want to say lives that are not conquered or ruled by the gods of this age. Matter of fact, devil has his own place. And I want to say this. The underlying factor uh, of the devil's fallenness is the fact that he can never raise his head <laughs> beyond the hoof because he is defeated and he was stepped on by Christ. Um, the other aspect that the devil likes also to, to throw on us is the fact that there's a lot of deception. And, and you can see it from this portion of scripture here. He wants to rule with this deception. Not because he knows the plan that God has for your life, no. <laughs> in fact, he never knows the promises and the plans that God has for you. But what he can only do is steps in the path to try to defoil that path that God has already ordained you to see uh, and to walk in. And so, I have few words for you today. And those few words are this. They are to be different. <laughs> they are to be different. The world has its own orders. The world has its own classification of everything that there is, from beauty to structure to everything that there is. It has laid a standard. 
But our standard is not a standard of this world. So dare to be different. And the gospel will make you different. When the gospel of Christ comes in us, it illuminates places and brings out the perspective of God in us and lays out the standard from above that is filled with the glory of Christ. Dare to be different. Don't struggle to fit in. <laughs> That's another deception that, Christ, that, that the devil likes to bring on us. Don't fit in. And that's, and that's the danger of many Christians. We try to fit in, and we find we don't fit in. And that's, growing up, that's how I found it very difficult. You follow someone who is your friend in school, <laughs> to, not long. The guy, his, his path is different. Five years down the line, you don't even meet. But you try to fit in his shoe, and you end up losing your way. So don't try to fit in. Because we all have a special place in Christ, in this church of the beautiful, awesome church that Christ laid for us, that he pursues still today. It's a place where he has set us free. He has liberated us. Huh? We walk uh, not of fear. And this world can throw those things upon us. And God allows them to come to us. But they should not rule us. That should not be the standard in which we follow because our standard is way raised up. So, you have a special place in God's heart. And whatever you might be going through is just a season before God shows himself and liberates you from all that. Now, the other thing is we are not in competition. Don't look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor has this, has that. You don't know which roots and roads and, 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 and things he had to forfeit and compromise they have to make to be where they are. Set your life on a tangent. Give your life vision. Set your goals in Christ. We are not in competition with anyone. Christ came and delivered us from all that. My journey is marked up. And all I seek is sanctification of every day. That every day, Christ beckons me. Every day, he shines me. Every day, is a new bounce. Every day. And it might seem like I'm stuck. <laughs> but in God's hand, <laughs> I'm moving. In a hindsight when I can't see. When my faith feels like it's stuck, God is moving and moving things from within. And his glory is coming very soon. So grace yourself in this season. <laughs> you have no reason to fear. Your God has conquered, and your God has ordered your steps, and your God wants you to prosper. God bless you so much. Father God, I want to bless you for such an opportunity. Just be able to pour into the children's life today and, and to say that we trust in you. Our trust can only be shown by how much we put our trust in you. Our steps can only be established by how we begin to make the strides ahead. And our strength lies in the fact that even in hardship, we still are able to make a step because you are with us and your hand comes alongside us regardless what the enemy throws on our way to try to foil and take us from the tangent in which you have us on. And so God... We want to say we are here, Lord, just seeking for your help and your guidance and your wisdom in this season, in this period, and in this world at such a time as this. We ask for your deliverance. We ask for your strength. We ask for your faith. We ask the Lord, you will be our overcomer. In Jesus' name, amen.